Hey everyone, this is Just a Tech and welcome back to the channel. So today's video is very special video for all of you guys, those who are waiting for the bypass iCloud activation lock screen on iOS 15 with network. That means you can run the SIM after the iCloud bypass. This is the latest method that are available to download and you can use it right onto your PC. I will show you the complete steps like how you can use that. Yesterday on my channel, I have already posted about the SMD iCloud bypass tool on my channel and I give you the proper information like the tool is working good and I have posted some pictures also so you can also follow me on my official telegram channel from the description link so now let's continue the process now first of all I will give you some brief idea about the tool and the compatible device so if you have the iPhone 6s iPhone SE first generation iPhone 6s plus iPhone 7 7 plus iPhone 8 8 plus and iPhone X so if you have these model you can proceed with this method also if you have a a9 device like iphone 6s 6s plus and iphone se first generation you will require the dcsd engineering cable or you can use the magical cable that is only required for a9 device but for the other devices like a10 and a11 chipset like iphone 7 7 plus iphone 8 8 plus and iphone x the normal lightning cable will work so this is the important information regarding the device compatibility and the cable and for today's process I have an iPhone 6s that is running on the iOS 15.6 that is the latest version for that device. Now first I will download the SMD RAM disk activator. For the download links you can check out the description you will get on my blog and you will get all the required download links. After the download simply install it. Now for the first time maybe the app will allow you to trust from the security and the privacy if it's not opening you can allow it from there and after that it will open. Now first of all you will require to check the compatibility of the device so it's very important. You need to connect your device into the normal mode first. After it detect by the tool it will show your device is supported with the signal or not. Majorly this is the initial update of the tool and most of the device are not supported with the signal. But if you have any device that are supported, you are lucky as I have another iPhone 7. I have connected with the device but it's showing no signal with this device. But for the iPhone 6s, that is supported with the signal. Now I got many questions from the people that their device is showing no signal because there are some devices that are SIM locked or a carrier locked or you can see blacklisted device or there are some tethered policy restriction on that device so maybe because of that they are showing the no signal but if your device is clean and still showing the no signal means you need to wait for the next future update as this is the initial update of the tool so this can be fixed by the future update so wait for it and after that you can easily use the device and with the sim working so now you have to just connect your device now once everything is set you have checked the compatibility and it's showing supported with the signal you are ready to use the tool you have to register your ecid you can copy the ecid from the smd activator you need to just click on that after that it will automatically copy the ecid on the clipboard now you can contact me there on my social media handle you can check out the description link you will get all my official social media handle links there you can contact me on telegram for the fast response after that you can send me the ecid with the mentioned model number and i will register that and for the prices i will display the list on the screen so you can check that out after you connect your device you need to first click on the start button it will open the recovery mode directly to put your device into the dfu mode or you can put it by manually also but i will recommend you to open with the tool so that everything will go smoothly now just put your device into the DFU mode. Now after the DFU done, you need to click on the purple mode option. This will put your device into the purple mode. So for the 6s, 6s plus and SE first generation, you will require the DSDC cable. So you can use that. For the other devices, you will require a normal lightning cable. After that your device will go into the purple mode as your device serial number will automatically change so make sure that you will copy the original serial number somewhere else so that you can use it in the future after that you will see the smd logo on your device now you can see that my device is color change and it's on the purple mode and it's an automatic process your serial number will change automatically so now wait for it to get complete And after this your device will automatically reboot.
now once the device is on again you can recheck the serial number now it's changed so that's why i told you copy your original serial number safely somewhere else for the future use now you can see that we have successfully changed the serial number now you need to click on the start button again to repeat the process of the dfu Alright after that you need to click on the boot option there are the alternate boot option as well if the first is not work for you now click on that and wait for it to get complete. Now once it will done just click on the activate button. If you want to skip the setup you can click on the skip setup option. It will directly redirect to your home screen after the bypass. Now you can see device is activated now. It will give you the reboot of the device. And there is a backup folder that will be already made on the desktop for your device. So you can check that also. Now the device is successfully bypassed and it's on the home screen as we have clicked on the skip setup option. So now you can see there is no Apple ID bound in the setting. So the device is working normal. So first let me just disconnect it. After that let me just insert the SIM card and show you the SIM is perfectly working. Now after you insert the SIM card, it might be you need to reboot your device so that your carrier setting will be refreshed. So I recommend you to reboot the device. So now you can see on the screen we are getting the signal on the iOS 15 after the bypass. So let me just place a call and show you that the calling is working good. So now you can see that we have successfully bypassed our device with a full activation service. So now you can sign on to your own Apple ID account. The actor login is working. You can use the Siri, App Store and the other things. Now iCloud login is working. Now let's try out Siri. Hey Siri, open the Safari. You can also use the app show for the apps. Now app store is also working and this method is untitled bypass method like if you reboot your device it will not lock again so you can reboot it normally. So now you can see that the calling is working after the reboot also I have shown you actor login, Siri and the app show but currently with this update the FaceTime and notification will not work for your device. This will fix in the later update as it's an initial release so you can enjoy these services but for the later update fix all these services like FaceTime and notification will also work. So that's all for this video hit the like button if you like the content and if you're new here subscribe to the channel for more cool update. I will see you in the next video so till then goodbye take care and peace out.